What's up y'all, it's Nay. Today I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of my wash and go routine. So I have deep conditioner in my hair. I'm going to rinse that out first and then we're gonna get right into it. Like with any styling of my hair, I'm gonna make sure I add plenty of water during this process. So you're gonna be seeing me doing that a lot. So for my wash and goes, I don't use any leave-in. I just use water and two gels. The Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, I swear by this stuff. And on top of it, I put the Innersense I Create Hold. These are the only two gels I use. Again, I do not use a leave-in for my wash and go. So, fair warning, I am listening to Renaissance during this entire wash and go process. So if you see me jamming, just know that it's all good because it's for Beyonce. So I'm going to do a middle part this go round. Honestly, I'm not a type of person that's going to put the part all the way down my head because I can't see in the back anyway. So I just do it at the part that I can see and everybody else can see at the front. And then that's why I'm putting these parts here. And I'm just going to section off these and I'm actually going to start my wash and go from the back of my head. Just like with styling my hair when I stretch it, to do this, I also work in small sections. So I put everything into fours. And then you're going to see that I have that four again. Just going to pop in really quick here to say if you've been enjoying this video and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a like because I am a new creator and I want to know if y'all like this content. So let me know. key to work in small sections because you want to make sure that you really define each section again use plenty of water do not be afraid of adding water it's the most important part of the routine so i squeeze some of the uncle funky starter in my hands first and emulsify it again that just means to rub it in your hands to make sure that the product does actually get broken down so the uncle funky's daughter is very slippery it has great slip but i have one too many times actually it slipped out of my hands and fallen down the drain so this is one of those things that will do that so just be careful i rake it through my hair and i also obviously already detangle while i am deep conditioning but i'm also getting a little bit of detangling down here you don't want to just put the gel on your hair and then call it a day and then you have a tangled up wash and go because that sounds terrible and you don't want that you want this to last and you want it to be thoroughly moisturized So yes, I use the raking method. You can see a better view here of me really getting it through all of my curls. It's also okay to take the palm of your hand and rub some of the gel on your roots so that you get the roots as well. I feel like sometimes we forget those, myself included. So there's one of those fairy knots. So I'm just grabbing my shears and I'm gonna cut that right out because we're not afraid to cut that over here. Next up, I'm grabbing the I Create Hold. I do about one and a half pumps of this, same thing. I emulsify it, and then I rake it through the part that I already have the Uncle, Funko's da Uncle Funky's Daughter. I use this for hold. It truly does create hold. And I don't mind my wash and go being a little crunchy in the beginning because that's just gonna work out throughout the rest of the week and I want it to last. So you're just gonna repeat this process throughout your head on small sections. I probably end up having about 12 sections overall because I split my hair into four and then I most likely end up splitting those halves into two more and then two more and then two more. I'm not afraid to work in small sections. It makes my wash and go last longer and it allows me to really get definition. And it also allows me to make sure my hair is properly detangled. So I'm on the last section here. I'm just working through that. You can see the other side is already put to the side and clipped away. I will say that I rarely wear my hair in a wash and go these days, mostly because my hair just loves to tangle. My ends hug each other, as I like to say. They like to hug, they like to kiss and that just creates even more fairy knots for me and i don't want that that is why i wear my hair in a stretch state
After I'm done with everything, I like to take a little bit more I create hold and just kind of rub it over all of my hair, get it over the top, get it at the back, and make sure I get those ends as well. And here, I'm just kind of releasing any of that excess product. I'm doing the same thing in the front. The reason that I feel it takes some people a long time to dry their hair is because they just have too much product in it. It's not really that their hair is too wet. It's that there's too much product and their hair can't take in all the product. So one thing I do to help with that is squeezing out some of the excess product. But the other thing I do is drying my hair with a shirt. So I grab a shirt I don't really care about. Just want to, you know, one of those lounging shirts. I wrap my hair in it, twist it up, and then clip it away. I leave this on, I don't know, probably for about 10 minutes. And I smush it just to make sure that I'm really getting any of the excess product and water and just helping to dry my hair. This is so that I don't have to spend all day with the blow dryer. I started doing this because it was taking me too long to blow dry my hair. So this is after a little bit. I'm also wearing a shirt that I don't really mind getting wet or getting gel on. So I am taking the shirt off. You can see there's definitely still product, but really not as much as it would be had I not squeezed out excess product and had I not used the towel first. Next up, I'm going to dry my hair off with some paper towels. Use paper towels instead of a towel because towels are meant to dry your body, not your hair. <laughs> So that's why I use a paper towel and I really just pat. You don't want to go rubbing it through and creating frizz and all of that. I'm just patting, I'm squeezing, again, more excess product out. Just to make sure that when I do go in with my blow dryer, I'm going in on hair that's actually already absorbed a lot of the product and not just sitting on top of my hair. One thing I forgot to mention, make sure that when you are doing your wash and go, you get your edges. I also take the palm on my hand and kind of rub my edges back as if I was gonna put my hair in a ponytail to make sure that I get my edges. You don't wanna end up getting all of the rest of your hair and then your edges are like, where's my wash and go? Like, <laughs> you didn't give me a wash and go at all. You don't wanna do that. So I always make sure that I go in and get my edges as well. So I used to be a person that air dried all the way, but I don't do that anymore because quite honestly, it takes too long. Again, I am not a strictly curly girl method natural. I don't mind using a little heat. I'm using heat to blow dry my hair, obviously. It's not a big deal. I personally don't get heat damage from using a blow dryer. So keep in mind that I am about three or four years into my natural hair journey. So I've just learned these things over time. If you were in the beginning of your journey or you're like, I don't want to use a blow dryer, I'd rather air dry. By all means do that. This is just what's working for me right now at this step of my journey. Who knows that might change later. But I do this for about 30-ish minutes and get my hair mostly dry. I don't want to walk around with wet hair because I feel like it just takes too long. When I am blow drying my hair, I'm not just holding the blow dryer in one spot. You can see that I'm constantly moving it. And that is to avoid any possible heat damage from having it on any piece too long. That could be a part of the reason why I haven't had any heat damage. Look at that shrinkage. I love watching my hair shrink up as I blow dry it. gonna wrap up this video if you have any questions definitely let me know in the comments i am always happy to answer and that's it until next time catch you guys later bye